and we shall start. So this is a very nice penguin, right? Perfect. So what is LPD phi, right? I'm going to be pacing because it makes me much more comfortable. Um, after the collapse of FTX, we all saw the distrust of people to the centralized venues. And uh, as a result, we saw the growth of DeFi and specifically we saw a huge growth in uh, uh, liquid staking and restaking uh, sector of DeFi. As a, an example, we can take Aura, Convex, Yorn, and other LP management protocols. This, we will return to Aura, Convex, and others in a minute, but this is powered, and this was allowed by fungible deposits, the ERC 4626 46, tokens that pretty much allow the holders to claim the deposits, those being the, well, those ERC 4626 tokens being the receipts, right? Oh, I th what does this result into? And what's the whole point of the LP DeFi and those fungible assets, right? It's leverage. So if we take Balancer and if we take a normal user going to Balancer and trying to stake ETH, for example, right? If they stake VBEL, they can get two and a half percent APY on Balancer. And this is not optimal because they are battling against the whales and um, other aggregators who, who, are boost, who have uh, a higher yield, provide higher yield. And so if we take uh, Aura, for example, right? Uh, Aura allows users who who hold Aura Bell, they allow those users to earn up to 8% in yield. So 2.5, 8%, that's a pretty big difference, right? And so those protocols, uh, Convex, Aura, and others, they allow users to receive higher yield and it's a pretty good deal for the users, right? This, I'm going back to the yield optimizers as a DeFi sector and they have shown quite a significant growth uh, for the last couple of years ever since the FTX thing happened, ever since the DeFi has become more apparent and a kind of more trusted solution for uh, a lot of people. We have seen a huge growth of the yield optimizers and actually liquid staking and restaking uh, protocols uh, were the third fastest growing sector, as we can see here. So what do those protocols, um, what do they offer to the users, right? So we can take, we can take uh, Aura, we can take Pendle, right? And, um, Just a sec. So 
So for example, Silo Finance was the precursor for the LP DeFi, and they allowed the LP tokens to be used as a collateral. Um, but they kind of failed. Uh, it was the first experiment. Then we saw the like of Pendle, who through the points craze grew a significant traction and currently they have approximately 3.5 billion in TVL, which is pretty good. And currently they provide Yeah, I think they, they are at the top at the moment. All right. Um, for CDPs, we have the examples of we can briefly mention them, the Abracadabra, Platypus, uh, who even though they um, are not yield-bearing, they still use the LPs as, um, they offer LP leverage. And so, um, We can take going back to the LPs, I had a brain fart. Sorry for that. Going back to the LPs, right now uh, they are experiencing a couple of issues. First of them being the pricing of the LPs. Um, it's a bit hard to price those LP tokens, even though we know that in theory we can just take the underlying assets, but uh, With the example of Pandle, for example, right? We have uh, basic yield tokens, YTs, and we can have uh, PT tokens, uh, principal tokens that involve uh, the maturity. So it's a fixed yield contract with the certain time of the maturity. And uh, we have a pretty limited use case of those LP tokens, um, which translates into users not being able to effectively leverage those LP tokens, and that being the sort of the capital that is staying dormant, right? It's not efficient. And what happens next is that if user wants, for example, to take the LP token and do something with it, um, there are a bunch of protocols that already allow that. But to, here's where I will make a quick transition to stable unit and what we are currently building is that we allow the users to leverage their LP tokens, uh, for example, from Pendle, from uh, Aura, from Convex and others, to 
use it in DeFi further to mint a stable coin and to, to uh, use it further in DeFi. I think I'm a bit out of time. It's a short set, so um, I thought some of you may not like QR codes. So we have a Telegram link for our community. So I highly encourage you to join and um, ask us some more questions in our community. Thank you so much for your attention and uh, I appreciate your time. Thank you.